Hello, my name is BJ Dara. I have a master's in chemical engineering from New Jersey Institute of Technology. I joined the company in 1971 as a development chemist in the lab. And right now I have over 50 years of experience in the marine and protective coating industry. Today, I'll be discussing about CGI, corrosion under insulation, using epoxy phenolic coatings. Now, epoxy phenolic coatings are the workhorse in the industry where the acids are operating at temperature close to 450 degrees or less. Before I go further, let's talk about some of the facts. You know, over 95% of the insulated area in a refinery or a petrochemical plant is operating below 230 degrees Celsius or 450 degrees F, which is ideal for the epoxy phenolic coatings. Second one, a 14,000 barrel per day refining will have up to 150,000 square meter or 1.6 square feet, million square feet of the area which is under insulation and about 24% will be subjected to the CUI condition. Now, before I go further, being a chemist, let's talk about developing epoxy phenolic coating for CUI mitigation. We have to have a balance of properties between the high heat and anti corrosive properties. We need anti corrosive properties both at ambient temperature as well as high temperature. Normally, the corrosion rate at high temperature is about 10 to 15 times more than at the ambient temperature. That's very severe. And that's why, that's why it's very important to have a high heat resistance as well as anti corrosive properties built into the epoxy phenolic coating. On top of that, we also need the flexibility so the coatings do not crack when subjected to the high temperature. Now let's talk about the maintenance and repair in the industry. The maintenance has changed dramatically in the last 10 years. Facility owners really want to reduce shutdown times. They want to improve efficiency, and they want to extend the life of the coating. So in a way, CGI is a huge issue for facilities that put added pressure on maintenance strategies. Now, like I said, epoxy phenolic are the workhorse in the industry when the assets are operating less than 450 degrees or 230 degrees Celsius. They have a long and very successful track record of use across a number of industries over a number of years. They're fantastic coding, but they have a few disadvantages. Number one, they have a very poor low temperature cure at temperature below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a huge disadvantage, especially at low temperatures in the winter season. Secondly, they do have very poor tolerance if you ever overbuild the film thickness. That's a huge, huge disadvantage, and it's very difficult not to overbuild in certain areas. Number three, they have a very poor UV or chalk resistance when exposed to the sunlight and the elements. You know. So I asked a contractor, how do you apply a DFT sensitive coating to a wide variety of pipes, valves, and vessels? You know what his answer was? With great difficulty. With great difficulty. And I do agree with him. It will be very, very difficult to apply that coating. So look at the epoxy phenolic, typical epoxy phenolic coating when they're exposed to the UV light and it's raining. What they will do, they'll chalk, they will erode, and they will reduce in film thickness. What happens then? You lose the barrier properties and ultimately it'll cause corrosion. So basically, three areas where the traditional epoxy coatings lack poor low temperature cure, poor UV resistance. Number three, they have a very poor tolerance to film overbuild. So question is, is there a better way? Yes, there is a better way. There is a new generation epoxy phenolic coating called Interbond 2340. This coating will take care of all the three drawbacks of the traditional epoxy phenolic coating while still giving the very good CUI performance. Now, this technology, Interbond 2340, is based on alkylated amine. So we generically call it epoxy phenolic alkylated amine. What we have done here is the curing agent 
a site will, will give you a very good low temperature cure even at minus five degrees Celsius. Look at the chart on here. The coating will dry hard at eight hours at 10 degrees Celsius, whereas traditional epoxy coating will take 16 hours. Okay, now let's talk about overcoating with the second coat. You know. Forget about the traditional epoxy, traditional epoxy coating as five degrees Celsius, they won't even kill. Let's take a 20 degrees Celsius. Traditional epoxy coating will take 20 hours for overcoating, whereas interbond can do in seven hours. That is a huge, huge advantage for productivity. Now, how do we achieve that? What happens? Epoxy phenolic coating is a two package. One part is epoxy, other part is a curing agent. When you mix the two together, they form a very rigid network film. So on the left-hand side, of the picture, you see a traditional epoxy phenolic coating, and the film is very rigid, which could be great for high temperature on barrier properties, but temperature raises, it will give you cracking. On the right hand side is the Interbond 2340 new gen epoxy phenolic coating. The curing agent gives them in the network a little flexibility, the springy action that gives you flexibility, and also this will lead to more overbuilt tolerance. The way the new curing agent is designed also has a very good low temperature cure at even minus five degrees Celsius. Here is the film tolerance lab test what we did. We applied traditional epoxy coating to two panels at seven mils each coat and nine mils each coat. And then the last panel is interbond 2340, which was Applied even at higher film thickness, 28 mils total, 14 mils each coat. Then these panels were cured and subjected to 400 degree Fahrenheit temperature for eight hours. Then they were naturally cooled down to room temperature for 16 hours. So we ran these five cycles. And look at these panels right now. The first panel showed cracking in the middle of the panel. Second showed Panels with second panel, which had about 18 mils of the traditional epoxy phenolic coating, showed cracking all over. And the third panel, which is Interbond 2340, absolutely no cracking, no lifting of the coating. Now, we also read the UV resistance test. What we did, we took off the shelf four traditional epoxy phenolic coatings and we applied it on this pipe along with Interbond 2340. These pipes were exposed to the UV light for two and a half hours, and then we poured water over it. So if there's any chalking, any erosion, they will wash off. And then what we did, we exposed it to condensation for 24 hours. So then we repeated that whole cycle every day, and seven days will make one cycle, and we ran the whole thing for about 35 cycles. And look at this after 35 cycles, the result. Most of the traditional epoxy phenolic coating lost about three to four mils of the coating. Whereas epoxy phenol interbond 2340, which is a new gen epoxy phenolic coating, lost only 1.5 mils. That means it has shown a tremendous improvement in chalking or erosion resistance of the coating. So, in a nutshell, interbond 2340 technology has fantastic advantages over the traditional epoxy coating, excellent barrier properties when applied between two coats at four to seven mil, ambient cure as well as cure at low temperature, minus five dB Celsius. It has a great tolerance to over film build application, resist any mechanical damage because it's very flexible. It can be applied even over SP11 surfaces, so it's a great for maintenance and repair, excellent tying capabilities, and excellent high heat resistance with anti corrosive properties. So in a nutshell, Interbond 2340, our universal epoxy phenolic alkylator and amine technology, has a huge, huge advantages for maintenance and repair, improved productivity, and excellent performance over traditional epoxy coating. Thank you.